My name's Greg Troughton. I'm the CEO of the Real Estate Institute of South Australia. It's an absolute pleasure to be here and talking to you today. Uh, I guess I have the pleasure of uh, uh, mentioning to uh, uh, everybody that um, finally, after nine years, I believe, last Thursday, and I know this will be on the uh, internet for a while, but anyway, nine years came to an end uh, last week in terms of the legislation through the House, and uh, I think that's a, a, a fantastic uh, result. Uh, result in two ways. One, it uh, certainly assures some further protections to the real estate consumers, both vendors and, uh, uh, and purchasers in South Australia, in particular with auction. Uh, and secondly, I think uh, from a real estate agent's perspective, uh, we've reduced some of the red tape. Uh, it, it's obviously a big transaction when you're uh, buying and selling houses, so you expect some uh, uh, bureaucratic red tape, but we've been able to reduce it and uh, we've worked very closely with the government, with the opposition, and in particular with the independent uh, parties in the upper house, uh, uh, Dennis Hood and the like, and uh, we've come up with something that I think is quite workable. Uh, I'm sure that uh, you'll hear the greater levels of detail, but. Uh, most, uh, first and foremost, uh, one, when it comes to auction, you, you've no doubt heard me say on a number of occasions, it's the most transparent way of selling uh, any property in South Australia, the most transparent way of buying property in South Australia as well. I think the uh, additions that uh, the government have, have uh, put through, I think uh, further enhance that. I guess the main thing uh, in relation to the legislation is not the legislation itself. I know that sounds a little bit uh, ironic, uh, but through the course of that legislation, we were able to uh, convince the government about our position about national licensing. Uh, I'm sure that everyone's listening to this has got their licence. Uh, they've done their uh, what is required, the 17 units of competency. You've done the course wherever, and uh, I know that uh, uh, Harcourt certainly have their own RTO. Uh, the government has basically agreed with us that uh, entry standards into this great profession of uh, real estate should be higher than what's being proposed by the federal government. So we're delighted that they've come to that realisation. It took a little bit of time, uh, but uh, eventually we got there and uh, I'm hoping that we can continue negotiating with the government and ensuring that uh, you literally don't get your licence to practise real estate in South Australia out of a Wheaties packet. So uh, that's certainly what the federal government is proposing. We're obviously against that and uh, at the moment we seem to have all the politicians on the same side, so that's fantastic. Having said that, uh, I'm delighted to say RESA is already geared up to do the training uh, for the new legislation and what it means on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's not just about, well, this is what the legislation says. We'll give some practical and pragmatic uh, solutions to some of the issues as well. I'm delighted to say that uh, we're bringing back the old favourite, uh, Antonia Mercarella. She's currently the general counsel up at REIQ, uh, but we've been able to secure her for uh, a week and uh, uh, she'll be doing not only the sales legislation, but also the property management side as well. So please come along, uh, it'll be a very good day. Uh, it won't just be, once again, about legislation, it'll be about the implications of what that is and what you might want to be doing in terms of your day-to-day -day practice. So please come along, uh, it's been a long journey. I'm looking forward to uh, putting it all to bed and we don't have to talk about legislation uh, for the next five or 10 years. Here's fingers crossed anyway. So thanks for listening and uh, good luck.